Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hack Shudu here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. So in this video, let us solve this lab called exploiting blind XXE to exfiltrate data using a malicious external DTD. Obviously DTD, we know that it's a document type definition. Uh, so that external DTD, we need to own it, then only we can do this. But in order to solve this lab, uh, the ports figure has already provided us an external DTD, uh, which we can control basically, a limited control. Okay. So this lab has a stock check feature. Yeah, the check stock feature that parses XML input but does not display the results. We, we know this already. To solve the lab, exfiltrate the content of etc host name file. Okay. So we need to exfiltrate the content of this particular file and uh, yeah, I'll explain why not etc password, why they have given this host name. I'll explain it in the later part of this video. Okay. Let me open the lab in a new tab here. Uh, just directly go to the view details and just scroll down and hit on check stock. All right. So go to the repeater. Sorry this one and sorry this is the one right so take this to the repeater and hit on send let us try the previous two different two ways okay so this is one of the way just copy and uh, hit enter just like this and paste it and hit on send okay and go to the repeater sorry go to the collaborator and click on poll now okay we got the poll okay see we got the poll but uh, the issue is that uh, we did not get uh, the exact i mean uh, we did not get any data here right here okay so what are we going to do right now is um, let us try this way also and hit on send again okay go to the collaborator and i think there should be some data right here i don't know why the data is not coming let us do one thing let us open a new collaborator right here and remove this one just hit on copy go to the repeater and replace it like this sorry from here paste and hit on send okay go to the collaborator and hit on sorry poll now and just have a look if you can see we directly got this but this did not get executed so obviously we need uh, this to be executed and uh, we need the data of this particular one right so now in order to do that thing we need to use the uh, dtd external dtd okay so here we have the exploit server just open this exploit server in a new tab and uh, uh, after getting some data we need to submit that data right here so that the lab gets solved and this is that particular dtd okay so now here what we are going to do is we need to put the whole uh, you know payload complete payload right here okay actually i have written it somewhere and uh, let me copy paste and i'll explain you exactly what exactly it is okay so this is the one so now it's as usual okay so we are not defining any document type right here because this is itself is a document type and um, yeah i mean uh, this is a dtd server so we are defining the entity and we are providing it as a file and uh, the file is this one okay so etc host name and then after that we are also defining one more entity and this time the entity's name is evil and within this evil we are defining one more entity okay so this is one more entity and uh, this evil entity ends right here okay so this is one more entity and uh, uh, this is the is a is the regular one so the percentile the hex uh, combination of this percentile you can go to the cyber chef and uh, i mean the cyber chef and uh, you can just paste the whole content here and uh, you can put uh, from hex 
so by that you will get the percentile right here so how to put that is just keep searching hex and here you can see from hex and drag it put it here and now if you can see it's a percentile it's just a percentile nothing more than that okay and we are defining the x fill okay so we have named it as x fill and uh, as usual the system and now we need to put the work collaborator right here so, and we have given this as it is uh, in the previous in the directly within the repeater previously so here but uh, this didn't work okay so now what are we going to do is we are going to copy this whole thing just copy and paste it over this place within this burp collaborator place and uh, obviously here uh, if you can see percentile file so the percentile file it will this particular entity is called right here okay so we are not directly placing uh, the file name that is uh, etc uh, host name and all right so we are directly giving it right here so you understood right the reason why we directly got this particular one so we need to specify the protocol what kind of protocol it has to use if we don't specify it won't do anything all right and now the evil is called and the xfil is also called okay so that's the point and we need to click on store okay and this gets stored and you can click on view exploit so now if you can see the data the whole data that we have kept here and just click on back now the point is that uh, we need to uh, copy sorry not this one is it this exploit uh, let me hit on you exploit again and yeah this is the one so just copy this particular one and now what we are going to do is we are going to put it right here so that the you know the firewall directly doesn't identify what is happening okay so that's how uh, it works and i hope rest all works good and we have called it right here within the parameter itself this is the one and let me hit on send okay go to the collaborator and hit on poll now okay we have the poll now right here go to the http and now if you can see uh, within the request of uh, collaborator we have this particular one okay so this is how you can retrieve the data in the, uh, previously if you can see here we got the etc slash ho slash uh, host name okay so now what we have got is we have got the particular data within the etc host so now what are we going to do in order to just solve this lab sorry here itself we have to submit it here okay 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 what happened did we solve it or not let me paste it again let me refresh okay congratulations you have solved so that's the point so here what are we going what are we doing is we are owning a particular dtd uh, server okay external dtd server and within that we are saving our payload we are storing our payload whole payload and what are we going to do is we are calling this particular url where exactly this particular uh, you know payload is saved from the xxe okay from this particular uh, from the request so that uh, it will call it from here and uh, get this particular payload executed within the server and we are getting uh, the uh, you know we are not getting anything any data within the response as it is a blind one okay so we are only getting it from the collaborator because we own this collaborator as well complete collaborator right now and that's the reason we are getting it and uh, as the porch figure has given this dtd server external dtd server for us of course with a limited functionality but that's how it works and congratulations and put down if you have any doubts uh, within the comments so that i can address those okay congratulations and have a great day bye bye